the new control head for our new black box fuel control unit. Uh, it's a very effective way of adding fuel delivery with uh, old Bosch LJetronic cars or certain older Motronic cars. Pretty much any 80s car with electronic fuel injection, this, this device is going to work. Um, it increases injector duration to add fuel, and uh, that enables you to retain the old fuel injection system even with uh, pretty significant mods like compression cams and uh, to a certain point even with uh, aftermarket turbocharging and supercharging modifications. I'm going to drive the car and uh, show you folks how effective it is. Adjustment is easy. Simply turn the knob until you get the desired setting. Then you can lock it in place with the locking lever uh, so the setting doesn't change. And uh, we're going to be using the innovative wideband air fuel ratio meter here so you can see the actual changes to mixture. Unfortunately, my vacuum gauge doesn't work. Um, we'll probably make another video to when the vacuum gauge does work. Okay, we've got our uh, black box control head set to zero here, which means it's doing nothing. So you can see what the stock full throttle mixtures are on the wideband sensor. Uh, you can see a part throttle, it hangs right around 14.7 to 1. Now we're going uphill, so it'll accelerate a little slowly, which will make the reading pretty steady. So here we go. So you can see it definitely hangs out in the 13s and even almost as lean as 14. So while the mixture is not terrible uh, with the stock LJ Tronic system, um, it's not really ideal. And this car has only very light mods. It has our ultimate air intake with the uh, K&N Apollo cold air filter. And uh, you can probably hear it has a pretty, pretty aggressive exhaust system. No headers, but uh, it has uh, sort of like Euro downpipes with a crossover and uh, rear muffler delete. So just a pretty mild exhaust mod. and. Uh, at least as far as performance goes, although it's noisy, and uh, a really good air intake. So now we'll do it uh, with the control head set to about 12%. Um, it's about 12% of its total effective range, which is all we need. Now, if we had compression cams, uh, supercharger, turbocharger, we would we would need significantly more. But uh, for now, this is what we got. So slow down a little bit and we'll accelerate and you'll see it should be in the 12s. There we go, we're staying uh, right about the ideal air fuel ratio for power, about 12.5 to 1 the entire way through the RPM range. Not exactly, but darn close and uh, about as good as you're ever going to get with LJET. So we're pretty happy with this product. Um, also, now that we're driving at part throttle, the black box shuts off. Not only is the amount of fuel adjustable, but when it operates is adjustable. And uh, when you're driving it like a normal human being, uh, the oxygen sensor commands the air fuel ratio and it keeps it pretty near stoichiometric with 14.7. Um, and then uh, when you drive aggressively, the black box kicks in and controls the mixture. And it only, uh, it, it, when it does that, it's adjustable. So not only can you adjust the amount of fuel it adds, you can adjust under what conditions it adds. Uh, on this particular car, it's set to trigger in about, oh, three to five inches of, of vacuum, or in other words, very close to full throttle, uh, but that is adjustable.